Good morning, everybody. You may be able to hear a strange noise in the background. <laughs> that can only mean one thing. We are at Thrigby Hall in Thrigby. I think that's how you pronounce it. And that sound you can hear in the background is the sea man Gibbons. So walking a little bit further up the bridge now. The noise is getting louder and louder. I'm really excited about this actually. So I've never actually seen them. I've only ever heard them. So I'll be looking close up to them. I'm quite excited about it. I'm going to turn the camera now. So you can have a, so you can have a look. Here's the information on the seat man given. We're going to pause it. And in the background there, there he is showing off. Craziest sound I have ever heard. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to him. Unfortunately, it does look like he hasn't got no head, but trust me, he has. <laughs> this male gibbon is really showing off now. See in the background there, little baby. He's putting a great display on for us today. They're absolutely amazing. The agility that these have got, unbelievable. Even the little baby there. Look at the confidence in that little thing. I'll do not to mom that. <laughs> what an absolute racket. It looks like they're absolutely lovely. And that one's having a word, then whether you can see that on the camera. <laughs> Thanks for that. No shame. I'm not sure what's going on there, but they're all still. Showing off now. Right, we're going to move on. We're going to get down to the next level now. Oh, we've got a bit of congestion in the tunnel now. <laughs> Now after you've read that, have a look at this creature down here. Just like my cat at home, always asleep. Wow, what a lovely leopard that was. There is some more about somewhere. Like I say, they do choose to lie in that area. Maybe it's a bit of a sudden trap, maybe it's a bit cooler. I'm going to turn the camera then, around now. Actually, I'm just going to spin myself around and then you'll be able to see him in the background there. Typical cat. Sleep and eat, sleep and eat, and repeat. Absolutely lovely, aren't they? I 
waiting this one's waiting for his lunch and he had a little bit impatient I didn't get that on camera but that kind of frightened me a little bit <laughs> I didn't expect it as I was showing you the information board kind of jumped above my head and there he is right at the top of the tree where he should be this one's having a little bit of a run about look Hello. Oh, what an absolute beautiful creature as you can hear the seaman gibbons displaying in the background Is more of a side view of the cat. Surprise, surprise, still asleep. He must have been up all night partying. What do you think? The swamp house. Into the swamp house. Swamp house. It is so warm in here. You see the fish? We used to have some of these ourselves. Walking through there. And in here is an American alligator. You can just see him through the cage there. I'm going to walk around. Nothing in there. Background there, you can see it's called a mugger or a marsh crocodile. And he's just soaking up that heat. Wait until you see the size of this look at this he is absolutely huge reticulated python and he is definitely a bad boy a nice koi carp i do believe maybe and the european pond tortoise in the background, having a bit of a rest. There's the info on it if you want to pause the TV. And heading up there to see if we can get a better view of that marsh crocodile. And there you can see the marsh crocodile regulating his temperature, I think he's with his mouth open like right that. And what I didn't spot is this one down here. Just having a sleep. I think this one's had enough of being indoors. I mean, it just looks like armour, doesn't it? When you get close up, you don't realise that the outer skin is just like an armour. We've come outside now. I don't know what's worse, inside or outside, because mm -hmm. the sun's come out now and it's really warm again. I'm going to go and have a take a look at that crocodile. And there he is outside now. Soaking up the nice warm weather. We're now in the forest house. I'll try and be quiet in here. See whether we can see anything. Look at these little cheeky devils here. Hey, 
wonder if this little cheeky devil will give you a, a cheap quote on your car insurance. <laughs> Look at these water pigs. This one here having a good scratch. Going to head up again to another level. See if we can see some tigers. <laughs> I tell you what, I've got more steps in today. I'm going to need a good sit down after this. This is a really narrow walkway. Just gonna go and see the top, on the top of the tigers. There's a little viewing area at the end here. I'm gonna be walking back. You can see how narrow it is. That's my foot. So there's not a lot of room up here. And if you're a little bit worried about heights, maybe you should walk around. She's absolutely huge. What a marvellous creature. Just gone into the ivory now. There's a little ducky. It's going to come over the tail out. This is a great place if you've got small children to come because you get so close to the animals. He's going to keep them interested for a good few hours this is. If you just look over to the right here, I have no idea what these are called. But they do look a bit funny. There's some more over there. This is a clouded leopard having a bit of a rest. Okay, we've come out of the pool house now. If you like your koi fish, definitely come here. There's some huge specimens. We're going to head off now to Cockadoo Calf. Cockadoo Calf, I said. See if we can get a spot of lunch and something to drink. Well, after a really, really nice playman's lunch, we're going to head off into the gardens.